Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Quick History. Today we're going to be taking a look at Robert Koch and his work on the identification of bacteria. As always, there's a free handout in the description below and make sure you click on subscribe if you'd like to see more GCSE history-based revision content. Let's get into the details. Robert Koch was a German doctor who was a great rival of Louis Pasteur. Robert Koch's work centred around the identification of specific germs and bacteria for specific illnesses. Whilst Pasteur developed germ theory, it was Robert Koch who provided the definitive proof that it was correct when he identified for the first time in human history a specific germ which caused a specific disease. In this case, it was anthrax in animals. As well as this discovery, Robert Koch made three other developments to medicine. First of all, he developed a way of staining bacteria so that they could be identified under a high quality photographic lens, which allowed scientists to study bacteria in more detail. Second of all, he also developed a way of growing these bacteria on potatoes, which made them much easier to study than what had previously been going on, which is when they grew them in liquid. Finally, however, Robert Koch was able to make one of the most important breakthroughs in medical development. He, for the first time in human history, discovered a specific germ which caused a specific disease, in this case tuberculosis, in human beings. Over 2,000 years of history there had been several explanations for why people became ill. The theory of the four humours, punishment from sin from God, the idea of spontaneous generation, the idea of astrology. All of these had been unequivocally proven incorrect when Robert Koch identified for the first time a specific germ which caused a human disease. Koch's methods were also tremendously important moving forward. By the end of the 19th century, using Koch's methods, scientists had discovered the specific germs which caused typhoid, tetanus, meningitis, dysentery, cholera, pneumonia and the plague. Whilst great rivals at the time, Louis Pasteur's work and Robert Koch's work went hand in hand. Koch proved that Pasteur's germ theory was correct and were able to identify the germs. And all this was going on at the same time as Louis Pasteur was trying to find ways to vaccinate against these diseases. The work of Koch and Pasteur is one of the most, if not the most, important development in medical history. Join me in the next video where we're going to be taking a look at Paul Ehrlich and his work on syphilis. I'll see you then.